Good morning, I have Melanne Scarborough with me today. She is from McGee's Healthy Heart Clinic. And Melanne has been telling us in the last few weeks about some different things uh, involving the clinic. I thought that it might be a way that many of you could help because she has an idea that maybe you can put to use with one of your clubs or organizations. Thank you, Sue. Um, my patients in the Healthy Heart Clinic depend it's very, very important that they are weighed daily. It's very critical that they monitor that weight. And if it fluctuates up two pounds in three to four days or five pounds in a week, it's critical that they know how to adjust their medication. That's what we teach them how to do. And this in the long run keeps them out of the hospital. So when they're first admitted into our program, they are usually monitored by local home health agencies that provide um, scales and blood pressure cuffs that tele-communicate with us mm -hmm. what their daily weight is. It's, it's all hooked up electronically. Wait, now you mean that scale is hooked up to your scale? Not to my scale. I mean to your... It comes in today the, over my computer. Over your computer, the that's what Every morning I can okay. monitor that. Okay. But now that service will eventually, it's a finite amount of time, okay. you know, six to eight, 12 weeks, I think. And when they run out of that, then what do we do to monitor our weight every day? And some patients don't have scales in their home. And it doesn't have to be a medical scale or anything fancy. It just, they have to have a scale that is digital, they can, it's low profile, they can step on it and it'll spit out their little weight every morning. They have to do this. And our challenge is that these patients are usually elderly and they're on a fixed income mm -hmm. and a $29.99 digital scale at Walmart is out of the question for them, for some of them. So what I would like to do is see some of our um, community organizations maybe donate a few scales if they can mm -hmm. and I could give these to the patients as a reward sort of thing for coming to every visit or you know Stay in the, not long was they staying out of the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but as as a sort of an incentive to mm -hmm. to monitor and, and stick with the program and and improve their well being. Well, you know, I I would think if some of those people have scales, they're not digital. Most of them exactly. because it would be such exactly. a challenge. And can you and imagine the challenge of reading that dial every day? There'd be no way because mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's hard enough. It's depressing enough exactly. anyway and hard for them to do it. Exactly. You know, I didn't realize until you said that while ago that the difference in the two or three pounds it could make with a heart patient, how that they should be monitoring it so closely. It's, it's very critical. I do feel that this is a project that the people of McGee need to take on. We need to think about this. Your organization could give one or two scales. You can find out from LN exactly what you need to purchase. You can provide funds for the scales. Um, I just think this is any way that we can help people in our community, especially the elderly and the ones that are, are on fixed incomes. Again, it's just helping the people of McGee and it's a way that we can actually do something for these people. If you are interested in being a part of the um, scales program at the heart, health, heart, Healthy Heart Clinic, I don't get it. We got the heart clinic. I love the name. Um, contact Bill Ann, and she can give you the information about how to proceed with the uh, this. This would be a great, great project for a school. Um, you can get a lot of community service hours with this. Um, there's lots of things out there with the senior project for next year. So you need to look at this in lots of different ways. And thank you again, Bill Ann, for coming. And I hope you'll get on board on the scales. Thank you.